folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft, and yes, I have turned the music up, because I want to hear the non-Stormwind music out here. You go out here, you get the non-Stormwind music, but they, it, it doesn't always play, but uh, yeah, then you go in here and you get all the Stormwind music coming up. So hey what I'm going to do is we will quickly go through the quest here. Wait. Why is it wiggling? It's wiggling that way. It's not that wiggling. Something's going on. Oh, wait. Yeah, I uh, think I know what's going on. I think I do. Right, anyway, um, I will carry on with this. So, welcome back to World of Warcraft. We're going to carry on. We've just got to Grizzly Hills. We're going to continue doing our Grizzly Hills quest lines. Here is called Grizzly Hills. Savage monsters, those horde. Payback will come for what they've done. You can count on at least that much, Paladin. Now, it's time to put you to work. We've reached a deadlock with the horde in Grizzly Hills. Our forces are just about evenly matched, and all signs so far have pointed to a stalemate. Until this morning, that is. The local trappers have requested our help. Apparently the horde took something that belongs to them. A relic of some sort. We get this back for them, and they'll give us the edge we need. Head to the Evergreen Trading Post west of Conquest Hold and look for a cedar chest. See you around. Well, that sounds simple enough. I think I can cope with that. Light be with you. Greetings, Paladin. I hope you don't mind a little hard work. We could sure use a hand of you. G'day, Paladin. The good lieutenant here says that there's been a horde raid on the storehouse. It's left our food supply dangerously low. No doubt we'll make those credits pay, but first we need to focus our attention on restocking. My men are doing all they can, but we're going to need every able body to contribute if we're to avert a crisis. You should have no trouble harvesting venison from the local stag in these parts. Happy hunting. As if we didn't have enough to concern ourselves with. With the present food crisis, we find ourselves competing for food with local wargs. The situation is becoming more dire, and I fear if we don't address the issue immediately, we'll soon find ourselves with nothing to hunt. Scour the forest, human. Kill any grey mist you find. Recent reports have cited a concentration of them on the other side of the river, west of here. Be careful. I will do what I can. And... We've also got this. Abbaseed. The stomach growls as the pungent smell of hearty nuts draws your attention to the bucket of seeds. Some thoughtful soul has obviously left these complimentary morsels here to rejuvenate weary visitors. Grateful, you take the remaining few and devour them. The seeds do not disappoint. Finding yourself hungry for more, you set out to discover their origins. Right, well, let's go in here and discover the origins of the seeds first. What can I do for you? You did what? Those were amber seeds. That was an entire harvest's worth. Those magical seeds may have been the answer to our food crisis. Believe me when I tell you, Grundorn, you're going to make this right. We must act quickly, human. We can't risk letting those precious seeds become fully digested. They need to come out now. Forage up some black root from the riverbank just west of here. I'll make you a, purg a purgative that should get things moving. Hurry now and remember, you brought this upon yourself. Light bless you. Uh, great. I'm blaming you though. You're the ones that left the bucket there, right? You 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 did. In theory, it, it's your fault, not mine. You left the bucket there, not me. Now, we can at least just hop. Off. I love being able to hop off the edge with flying mounts. It's so cool. Just. A hop, skip, and a jump, and down we go. Um, there is a repeatable. There it is. What can I do for you? I love this music. The venture company is on its way out of Grizzly Hills. They used to run the logging operations here, but things got a little too dangerous for them. Their abandoned sites are up for grabs, and we sure as hell can't let the horde get their hands on them. The Black River Logging Camp is the smallest of the three logging sites in his zone. We still need it. Do your part and fend off the horde forces. Any lumber they get here will be made into weapons to be used as used against us elsewhere. Farewell. Uh, ten horde in Black River Sling. Let's do that first. There we go. Take these down. I'm 
going to go with that and get my old wings going. I'm stunned. Let's do that. And heal. Actually, that's pretty quick. I know the music is a little bit loud. Um, I will turn it down in a bit. Right now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to enjoy it for a minute. quite beautiful music. I'd, I'd, I'd like listening to this kind of music. Um, some evening, sometimes I listen to heavy metal, sometimes I listen to classical, sometimes pop music. But I listen to a huge variety of music and sort of traditional type music like this as well. This is another one that I really love to listen to. There is, I don't like hip hop and R&B type music. Um, I never have. That's just not really my cup of tea. Other than that, and, and jazz. I'm not a big fan of jazz either. Although some, well, some jazz. Um, that's this kind of a, more of a situational. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I can't stand it. Um, but most other music I like. I Literally, most other music. I, I Even death metal has its moments, right? I mean, yes, admittedly, I don't listen to all that much death metal. But it does... Oh, that this one's already ready for turning. I'm already done. I'm already finished. Who's trying to fight me? There's a problem with coming down here is that you do very quickly end up with... Ah, there. Right, I've got some Conquest Hold Raiders here that have decided that they'd like a little fight. Or actually, a little lesson in how to fight because... Um, there we go. Let's be honest. This is a lesson in how to fight. There. See? You don't do that. You don't make a mistake like that. And I throw that one. There we go. See? They've learned all sorts of ways in how not to fight. Namely, don't pick a fight with a um, paladin called Grundle. You know, I honestly think I could quite happily sit and just have that music playing on loop for an hour. Um, I don't know about you guys, though. I mean, you, you, you may not like it quite so much as I do, but um, yeah, I am I am sort of leaving it in a bit. I'm, I'm going to turn it down in a bit, because um, I, I appreciate that it is quite loud. and um, it's Well, it's, it's loud to me, so I'm assuming that it is coming across very loud as well. You just grab that bit there, and so that's that first one done there. I need a cedar chest. I want to turn this quest in. I will just go back into the system in here and sound, and we will turn our music down a few notches. Okay, return to game, and we'll come down here and we'll turn this one in. Can I help you? Nice work, Grundorm. We could use a few more folks like you up here. We could really show the Horde not to mess with us. Safe travels. No worries. Says Valiant's expedition increased by 275. Who that was? Who 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 is? Um, Ranlincor, Torval, Fenrisuf, and Grundorm. Um, ah. Oh, we got another one. Fenrisulf. Uh, Alt of Kinder. There. Now. I need to get... Oh, hang on. No, there was a there was a chest we needed to get, wasn't there? That's, that's the... Oh, Grey Mist Hunters. I need these. This is the wolves down here that we need to take out. I need six of these. And I'll be able to get six of these in one go. Look. This, this is awesome. This is a proper Grundorn Jenkins moment. There we go. Grundorn Jenkins. Come on, all six of you all at once. Let's just heal up and we'll do that and we'll do that and we'll throw in that. Put those down. And 
going. Keep going. This music is different. Might be different on this side of the river. And you. And then... There. All six in one go. <laughs> a load of war conches. We can't skin any of them. It's not an option. Let's just use a random mount for this one. And away we go again. Oh, there's... No, there's succulent venison up there. The cedar chest is all the way over there. But the succulent venison... I think I can pick that up anywhere along here. Can I? Replenishing the storehouse. I thought I could. I thought that that one, like, literally will go anywhere. You see all of the, the blue marks on the map? Pretty sure that that will... There. Like, the, the, those deer, the tall horn stag. I don't have a target. Right there. Pretty sure if I take that one down, that one will also give me some of this. Um, what do you mean, blame Frith? It's not Frith's fault. Succulent venison. So, yeah, we, we just want to take down these deer over here. We don't need to go quite that far away. I've got one right there I can get. Like that. And then there's another one over there. Which I can pull in. Uh, like that. And then take that one up there. And then there's another one over there that I'd like to get if I can. I think one of them's just run away. Isn't it? I need to get closer. No, he hasn't run away. I've got that one over there. Ah, I wasn't close enough. It's too right. Far away. There, so I, I can still take it down. Here we go. Uh, oh, right. So I, I, I'm looking at the chat. I'm trying to figure out what they're saying as well. And yeah, unfortunately, I am going to have to turn the music down because I can't really um, concentrate very well. I'm struggling. Struggling a little bit. Even though I really love the music, uh, in order to be able to talk as well, I'm going to need it further down so we will go to not interface sorry system sound right there and i'll have to put that down to i normally have it on something like that okay uh return that's a bit better it's a little bit quieter i can still hear it but i don't know if you can hear um I have a permanent record of sen saying it in guild chat yeah 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 all right it's so, all that's yeah. That, I'm I'm well. I am blaming. I am blaming Sen. She's a bad influence. I think I will have to ban her from all contact with all people from this point on. Okay. Um. I, I, that 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 sounds really bad. Actually, let me just clarify that 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 that's not happening. Um. Right now, because mainly because um, if if I try to say that and I don't clarify, then Sen might hurt. Me. <laughs> she might get. Rather cross with me about that. And, um, yeah, so th th there's nothing funny. There's nothing weird going on. There's, um, yeah, I I'll just clarify that. And so, yes, it's, as I said in the last episode, get into the comments and um, talk about uh, potential changes coming to this channel. Would you like to see me doing more live streams? If I was to do more live streams on this channel, it would unfortunately mean that I would have to do less of the pre-recorded videos. Live streams, if I was to do them, it wouldn't just be streams. I would also be doing, um, as, um, I would, I would be archiving them. I would be having them so that people could watch them back at a later date and could enjoy them. I would probably possibly be recording as I uh, make them and um, and then uploading the videos like that in sections so that you can have them like that and then you've got either the pre-recorded live stream that YouTube does or my own recorded version which might be of better quality I'm not quite sure we'll have to see but anyway one thing I love about this place is out here so yeah in the comment section all this week tell me what you think you I went over it a fair bit in the last video this week so I'm not going to go over it too much just uh, if you've got any thoughts about this idea of me doing more live streams each week and a few less recorded videos um, then 
get into the comment section and let me know. It's very, very important that you do let me know because I can't take any action until I've sort of had all the feedback. Right, we go into here. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, the truth brings a tear to your eye, going by what Sen said. It's usually after Frith takes his shoes off. <laughs> uh, no comment. No comment. Right, we've got a few things now. We've got some food. Well met. Replenishing the storehouse. How goes the hunt, human? I'm a human! We're both humans! You're a human! These are some choice pieces of meat. We've all been working hard. It's beginning to pay off, but we're still far from our goal. We need much more meat than we have, and it's growing clear that the local stag population won't be enough by itself. I'm afraid we'll need you to turn your attention to more dangerous prey. The grizzlies that give this region its name... They're plentiful, and they're well fed from the abundant fish that swim in these streams. Be safe, Paladin. For the Alliance. Be safe. You're sending me off to fight giant grizzlies. Yeah, thanks. Good work, Paladin. This should help ensure that the wildlife in these parts ends up where it should. Roasting over our fires. <laughs> uh, she's a very smart woman, I hear. I can tell that's the same at my home with Glenn. Really? Yes, why do I suspect that um, I'm going to get continual abuse? Now that Sen is becoming a little more active in this guild, I, I, I just feel it's going to end up in me receiving lots and lots of abuse because of it. Nothing new there then, really. Um, right, well, Grundon, we've determined how the Horde was able to locate our hidden stores of food. It turns out that they were binding their sight to the unsuspecting eagles that soar above the trees here. Using the eagle vision, they were able to effectively spy on our every action. By order of the lieutenant, we've got to hunt down those majestic birds in order to thwart our enemy. Go with honor, friend. A little harsh. Right, just passing through. Have you found the black root? These should do just fine. And the whole deftly twist the stalks, collecting their stick, their slick fluids in a tiny vial. There we go. Now it's time to get down to business. All right, human, here's the juice. It works immediately, so don't use it until you're safely inside the outhouse. Now go get me the seeds. Um, he just said, I know, back in the bucket. We've retrieved the amber seeds again. You know the drill. I know back in... Wait, what? For the alliance. Huh? Need help? Uh, except. Be careful. Just a minute. Just a minute. Over to the outhouse. Use. Oh. My goodness. Ooh. What am I doing? Indisposed. Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I remembered the quest, but I didn't realize it was... <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. I remember that. Um, my missus is smart too. She told me that I am not under the thumb. Yeah, I've been told that. Um, yeah, I remember that. So, we've, we've, we've just been and used the facilities. Greetings. Here we go, doing your duty. Get those seeds for me yet, human. Well, Grandon, everything come out okay? Hmm, looks like we caught them just in time. We can have a rancid signet, a fetid loop, or a mildly tarnished ring. <laughs> oh no, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, well, none of them are actually any good, so we'll take the holy specialization once we don't accidentally do anything Light with it. Bless you. All right, Ben, we've retrieved the amber seeds again. You know the drill. I know, I know. Back in the bucket. <laughs> We ate those seeds. We ate them and back in the bucket, which means that somebody had done this before. We suspected. We suspected. Oh, I feel queasy now. Seriously, dude. He's put it back in the bucket. He's put it back in the bucket. Oh, no, this is just terrible. What do we got? We got reagent supplies. We got poison supplies over there. Got all sorts of stuff up here. Um, right, let's let's stop jumping around up there. And what can I do for you? 
Troll season. You, human. You're a human as well. You are a human as well. Do you not understand what this means? Saying hello, human, is just ridiculous. Right. Calm down. It's okay. You, paladin. No sense standing around here when there's work to be done. Drakfaron Keep is the most direct route to Zeldrak. We must capture it to ensure the safe passage for the Alliance. But until we get the numbers to make an assault, we'll have to content ourselves in thinning out the ice trolls and collecting intel. To that end, we've conscripted a gang of thugs to capture and deliver live trolls for interrogation. Travel northwest and speak with Samir at Granite Springs. He'll direct you further. For the Alliance. Right, well, we'll deal with Samir in a minute. We've got Grizzly Fang... Uh, gri gri grizzly Fanks. Uh, gri gri grizzly fa Flanks, not Fanks. Flanks. Flanks. There. Um, troll season. Local support cedar chest. I thought the cedar chest was over here, not all the way over there. The other side of Conquest Hold. You come past Conquest Hold there when you first come into this place, and that's where you get the... Um, why they're talking about the Horde and what the Horde are doing. Um, but obviously we didn't then. See that guy there? Oh no, not that guy there. He he just came in himself. He he did it on his on, on his lonesome. Right, I got grizzly squirrel. I don't have a grizzly squirrel. I don't have any grizzly squirrels at all. Before we do that, uh, let's go to collections and we will revive our pets. There, right. We have a grey, a green quality. We have two. Hang on a minute. Right. That's better. I've cleared my throat a bit. Uh, now then, we've got grizzly, we've got two grizzly squirrels, both the same level. So we'll go for, that's a 161. 161 attack, 252 speed. That's 179 attack, 224 speed. So really, ideally, we want to catch the second one. Although it's not, it's, honestly, it's not going to make any difference. It's genuinely not going to make any difference because I'm not likely to use it in combat. Um, it's just one that I want to add to the collection. If we do find that a grizzly squirrel is the perfect pet to add to our collection, then we will do something about adding it to our collection later on. Right now, I'm just going to capture the first one, and then I can uh, use the use Alfred the Clockwork Gnome to take down the rest of them because of his um, really, really cool gun ability, which very quickly hammers through the rest of them. If I can capture this pet, he's invincible. He's a slippery little, there we go, slippery little character, isn't he? Right, we've captured that one, which means now I want to switch pet, and we will change over to young Alfred over here. He's going to reduce damage taken by 50% for three rounds. I'm going to shoot him with these for four rounds. Right, so he's done that, and now my damage is taken has been increased which is not very good so i don't really want that um it shouldn't make too much difference though i've just got to survive a little bit longer get another gun placed down which i'm going to do this turn stampede and then wood chipper right there that's, that's quite a, a nasty one and right we build another tower so now he's got six of these going he can hit me once more and then he'll take full damage from all of the um the gun turrets I hit him again, and he's down. He's out for the count. The critter one, they're immune to stun, root, and sleep effects. So we don't actually have any of those effects that are going to hurt, although we've got bleeding at the moment. Deals 49 damage every round, which is not ideal. We've only got a couple rounds of that left. So put down another turret. He'll hit me. And he takes a lot of damage from that. Now, he's got bleat right there. Restores 124 health to all allies. Which would be good, except that we, we, we got him before he, he could do it. We now have a grizzly squirrel. We have added a grizzly squirrel to our collection. We have the crab. That was our last one, was the, the, the crab. So the grizzly squirrel right there. Let me, let me, um, where, where is the crab? Yanak the shore crab was the last one. 
So now we've got a grizzly squirrel. Let's get rid of that and then I can see if you've got anything going on the filter You can't do anything on here. I do have a, a mod for this. So pet battle teams. I think it is right summon our grizzly squirrel and Rename so the last one was Yanak. Did I say yeah, so this one is 1977 rug rat 1977 rug rat right there except oh we're just going to have to call him Rugrat. We're not allowed numbers, are we? Right, Rugrat. It's just going to have to be called Rugrat because you're not allowed numbers. Okay, Rugrat is our new pet. He's going to join us in Noble Battle. So we will now carry on and head on down this way. And what did I want to do? I need Imperial Eagles and Grizzlies. Right, the Grizzlies, there's the Eagles over there. There's also grizzlies over that way. We can go into the river and we can get them. Or we can head over this way uh, and get them alongside the eagles up here. Which is probably the easier way to do this. So I'm going to go sailing up through here. Like that. And there are all of the eagles. There's loads of them here. There's wolves there. So I'll take you down and you down. And you down there. And you over there. Right. Now, why aren't you coming down? Oh, they're evading. Right, that's just great. It's really, really frustrating when they keep doing the evade thing. Because they don't actually attack you. Um, they, they kind of basically get stuck where they are. And there's nothing that you can do about it. So, we're going to have to go... What we'll do is we'll go up there and we'll land on that rock and we'll attack them up there. Northern eggs. Those are not worth anywhere near as much as um, some of the others. The, the small eggs. The small eggs, those are the ones that are worth it. I got a prowler right there. But now these eagles, they don't have to move anywhere. They basically, they get stuck on one location. And if they get stuck on a single location... Um, they can't move from there. So if you're out of their um, immediate range, they try to hit you. They find that they can't, and then they will bug. And that's when they start evading. And you can't do anything about it. So if you do find one that's evading, the best thing to do is to go and stand right on top of it and kill it. And then it will despawn. And then the new one, when it does spawn, will spawn normally at least that, that that's usually what happens they'll spawn normally and then it sort of it improves it for everybody you know you don't have um i do it if if i'm hunting a particular thing i will do it and you know it doesn't always benefit me immediately range. but i hope that other people do do that as well because it is a, like it's it's a, a beneficial almost like service occasionally you'll go to a place and you know there's a lot of things that are um they're evading you got them all over the place and essentially what's happened is you've had people go through and they avoid all of the evading ones and then they move on to a different bit and they leave them all and then you can't do anything you you've, you've literally got to go up to each one and fight each one individually one at a time and it, it, it's a bit tedious so i i prefer not having to do that if i can right we've got a grizzly there we've got another grizzly over there I put that down just to keep him moving we've got a grizzly over there and I need to get closer. I need an Imperial Eagle Chick. I'm sure where the Imperial Eagle Chick is, but we do need one just to finish this up. I need eight Grizzly Flanks. Wow, these Grizzlies are actually giving me a bit of a pound. Uh, let's do that. And we use our wings. These wings are really cool. I like these. What do we get from this? Avenging Wrath increases damage, healing, and critical strike by 20%. So I need to do that before I use my healing ability. That's what he, that's that's the way you need to do it. That before I use my healing ability. I'm out of range. Shit, if I use my healing ability now, there we go. Increases that healing by 20%. That's a pretty good rate. I don't mind an additional 20% healing. It's too far away. All right, you over there. You come on over. And then I got one up there. If you could come on over. I you know what I'd really love is to have an increased aggro range. If I could, like, have something like this that would allow me to get range. closer to some of these creatures. Hey, dude. I thought I threw something at you already, but apparently I didn't. And then I got that one up there. 
who I also want to get, if I can. Uh, no, wrong one. Shield. There, I want the shield, like that. And take these down, like this. Probably better if I take... If I try and move too much more, I suspect that they're all going to start running away from me. So if I bring them down before I go over any further and get more, then we've at least got this little lot right here. Go on. Last one. Fantastic. I need one more. Get a 100% drop rate off of these. I like it when they do that. And we've got the cedar chest as well. The troll season thing closer. I'm not worried about. I'm not going to go and do that. It's too far away. And to you. Right there. Right. We're nearly done. We're nearly done. One more grizzly bear. Fantastic. Celestial steed. Let's go for a little fly. Look at this place. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Look at it. This great big open forest. We don't get forests like this in my part of the world. There are some in other parts of the country, but we don't get big pine forests like this in my part of the world. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the Forestry Commission, the, the planted ones, where everything is a neat, tidy rows. Uh, but no, the, the big pine forest like this, this isn't something that I see. And I see it in videos. I like watching things like Joe Robinette. Um, and other survival videos as well. I have talked about that many times. Um, and I just think it's quite amazing, you know, it's, it's that some people do actually still get to experience something close to a genuine wilderness um, in different parts of the world, which is not something that we have here in the UK. Um, we've got the north of Scotland, and there, you know, the Scottish Highlands is a bit of sort of wilderness. Down here in the southern half of the UK, our wilderness is very much tamed. Right? We don't actually have wilderness. We've got fields and we've got a little bit of moorland, but it's not wilderness. It's not actual open, wild wilderness. Anything like. King's honor, friend. But never mind. Let's not worry about that. Take their rear. The mighty paladin has returned. I have. I'm glad you've recognized me. Outstanding! Our stores are very nearly replenished now. You've done your part, Grundorn. Somber task, I know. But we can rest easier knowing now knowing the enemy's eyes are no longer upon us. Go with honor, friend. That's all of those. Right, I've, I've, I've done all those quests. So we need to head... We need to get the cedar chest. Local support, the cedar chest. That's the next one that we want to do. Have we got time for that today? I think we do. I think we can go and do that one more. Um... Now, the thing with that quest is that you go down this road, because it's all the way over there. Um, so what you'd actually do is you'd follow this road. So we're going to follow that road. And we're just going to see if there are any quests along the way. I don't remember if there are or not. I don't think there are. Um, but there is a bit of a quest chain, I believe, this way with the cedar chests thing. If I got that right. Or was there? Or am I thinking of something different? Uh, there's a whole load of wolves there. Um, oh, wait a minute. Ah, the horde are here already. Well, that's not good. Right, well, if the horde are here already, this this is this is quite bad. Uh, so I'll take those down. And you know what? You know what? I'm going to take him as well. I don't like uninvited guests. So I will uninvite them myself. You are no longer welcome here. Please leave. Immediately. If you don't, there will be consequences. Okay. You asked for it. Consequences incoming. Uh, there's one who has suffered a consequence. And, well, the, 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 these others are going to as soon as I... There we go. Right. Consequences dealt. Savagely, dis savagely um, uh, handed out. Cedar chest. I need that one. And I want to head back. Back to our place over here. Uh, Aberpine Lodge. The granite springs bit, we will go and do that later. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to head all the way back over here. And I think that's going to have to be it for today. We'll see about doing... Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's get back up there and turn this quest in. It depends what quest we've got next. Because it's 
is to do with how long the quest chains take and whether we want to split the quest chain up very much. Um, so it it might be, it might not be. We'll, we'll have a look. Let's go sailing on up here. Round we go. And in here. There. Lieutenant Dumont. Greetings. You bring me that box, Grundorn. It's locked, isn't it? It looks pretty ordinary. Lieutenant Dumont shakes the chest, producing a rattling wooden sound. No matter, I suppose. If this gets us the edge we need against the Horde, then I could care less if... I could care... It's... I couldn't care less, right? The phrase is, I couldn't care less. Yeah? That is the phrase. And I see people writing this wrong all the time, and it's, it's, I couldn't care less. No, I could care less. I couldn't care less is the actual phrase. But when they go and put it in something like this, ooh, that's annoying. I don't remember that being there. That's something that would, I'm sure that's something that would have stuck in my mind. Right, no matter, I suppose, if this gets us the edge we need against the Horde, then I couldn't uh, care less if the cure for the plague was in there. Why would you put, I could? If you could care less, you wouldn't even bother saying it. It just makes no sense. I don't understand. Right, ooh, that's a, a straight up upgrade. Uh, we have the, we have what the trappers want. Now it's up to us to sign them up. Uh, sign them up with our side. Take the chest to a trapper named Ivan at the Aspen Grove Post, just north of here. If all goes well, we'll have local woodsmen serving as scouts for the King's Army in no time. Be careful. Right, uh, I want to go here and here, and then we've got amber plate leg plates. There we go. Actually, they fit with our other outfit a little bit better. It's not bad looking. It's not bad looking. Right, you're done. I don't want those. There's everything else in here. Now, do I? I think I can go and turn in that one quest, and it's a pretty quick one. We just run down the hill, and we go and turn that quest in down there. And then it's done. It's, oh, just to the north. It's up here. It's up, not down. Uh, Aspen Grove Trapper. Right there. Here is the Grizzly Hills. I'm just round checking if there's... No, there doesn't seem to be any more quests. They are pretty close. When, I, when he said it's just north of here, he really did mean just north of here, didn't he? Food and drink. Trade goods. What have you got, dude? Greetings. Greetings. See you later. Right, I don't want anything there. Right, Ivan! Can I help you? You brought something for us. You did it! You recovered this... Th you recovered the chest that the Horde stole from us. We thank you, Grondorn. Very well, Grondorn. Your people kept their end of the bargain. Tell Dumont that we'll honor the deal. Be careful. Okay, I will run back and I will tell Dumont that uh, you're honoring your deal. I, I've, I've no idea what exactly the deal is, but uh, you're honoring it. That's all that matters. Um, now... Oh yeah, that was good fun. That was we we were all lined up fishing off the end of the pier. It was it was uh, quite good. Uh, where are you actually? Is is it is Dark Moon on at the moment? Is that what you're doing? Uh, member oh Crasserang Wilds. Yeah, that was that was quite cool. Okay, we will go in and we'll speak to Dumont, and that is all we've got time for today. So as soon as we've done this one, we will uh, hey get ready for signing off. Excellent news, Grundorn. With the locals' help, we'll have the logistical support we need to outmaneuver the Horde in his region. I have further tasks for you if you're interested. Ooh, he's got a voodoo figurine. Teaches you how to summon his... I've got one of those. I don't know where I got it from. Uh, we've been trying to negotiate with the Trappers for weeks, but we'd gotten nowhere until we found that blasted chest of theirs. This should be good news to our envoy in Silverbrook. We sent Ducal there about a week ago, and his last letter indicated he'd been making little progress. Go to Silverbrook and aid him in his diplomatic efforts. Take the roads heading northwest of here, and you should find it after crossing a couple of bridges. Okay, well, we'll See do that, around. but we will do that in our next episode. We won't do that today, so we need to go to... There's the troll. Right, the exercise in diplomacy is up over there, so we need to go up and then along there. And I think we go along there, and we go up to there. Plus, we've also got the troll season bit over here. So I might go and do that first, and then we'll go and do the exercise in diplomacy afterwards. And we'll take care of that little region up there. 
Um, we've got more down here that we're going to want to do. And then we head out this way afterwards later on. But uh, we'll, we'll do that later. So if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And please remember, I would like feedback today, all this week actually, on do you think we should be doing more live streams on this channel? Some series will have to go. I don't know what series it will be yet in order to make way for more regular live streams. Um, everything is open for discussion at the moment. Some games will work well as live streams. Other games I do not want to do as live streams. I want to continue with the format that they're in right now. So I want your views and opinions on that in the comments section. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.